Hey everybody, Korka Nala here, and we're going to be looking at Steamroll, which is the game that came in the Geek Fuel box for July 2017. We're in my Geek Fuel shirt. I've got uh, Firefly going on, and we're going to see what the game is like. So I don't know much about this game. I just know that uh, it's a steampunk adventure puzzle game. At least that's what it says. And uh, other than that, I just turned it on to turn the music off so I wouldn't have a copyright issue. But let's get into it and play it. Let me check the basics handbook. All right, I think I'm going to edit through the tutorial and we'll get to the gameplay. Okay, so we got through the tutorial. Basically, you have steam balls, walls, and bombs that you can use to try and get through your map. And uh, let's try and do this one. We'll see. Uh, the controls are a little weird to get used to at first, but I think if you've played the game for a while, it would be easy to get used to. It just, uh, it's not something that we're used to doing. Hit the button to open the wall. Going down. So I'm using the mouse to move the ball back and forth like this and then just the uh, left mouse click to give it a little steam so it pushes in that direction. So it's a little wonky to control at first. So I'll need to blow these up. I'll need a spot where I can Looks like I can't reach the controls. So I'll have to use this thing. And I hit control when I get close to it so I can get into it. And this is where I can use my The way to switch is also full of garbage. Okay, so first I need to get to this switch. We will turn around. Give us a... Uh, whoops, I needed to charge that. <laughs> use a bomb kablooey 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 oh no the guy said shit something's not right <laughs> maybe I blew up way too much stuff or I blew up everything that I'm supposed to blow up right or there goes the elevator Bye bye elevator. <laughs> oh, is that an earthquake? It was just a small incident, my bad. <laughs> uh, okay, dokie. So let's go over to the switch. Oh, I need to hit the... Sorry, I need to do that with a ball, so I'll go back in here. Oh, 
I want a bomb. Now the the you're using A and D to go back and forth to move the turret, and I think it moves a little too fast. It's um, maybe I don't know how to do it, but there should be a way of making more fine tune adjustments. Uh, I guess I would have to play with it for that. There was nothing in the tutorial about that. It just seemed. Uh, that it jumps too easily and it's hard for me to make fine adjustments. Nope, don't want to go that way. That way. Oh, that's a dead end. All right. Come on, get up there. Doesn't look like I can go in the thing. Oh, I don't think I was supposed to fall down. Oh, maybe I was. Cool. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh. That's what I wanted. So now I get to use ramps. You can see it's hard to fine tune your movement. Okay, so I activated a ramp. Done, young engineer. So let's do one more. So it really is a steampunk game. I don't know how much of an adventure game it would be. You could call it that. Maybe it gets more later. This could, you know, this is still kind of the tutorial part. But uh, I like the graphics. It's a unique game for sure. And I like the puzzle aspect of it. But I don't want to blow myself up. Blew me up. <laughs> so that is an interesting game. I like the puzzle aspect of it. It's unique. It's different. And I like that they're going different. A lot of games try to just recreate what everyone else has done. This very much the controls are different it takes a lot of uh, a learning curve for it but it's not too bad not too much of a learning curve uh, it just takes a while to get used to that but the idea of uh, you being part of the puzzle like you have to figure out where you're gonna go and where the balls are gonna be shot from there's elements from other games that I've seen before and other kinds of puzzle games but to be put together like this I think is uh, uh, unique and interesting and does not rehash the same old, same old. So I like it. 
I think it's interesting. I, I think uh, they did a good job with this one. Thank you, Geek Fuel, and thank you, Steamroll. That's a fun game, something I think uh, puzzle people would really enjoy playing. And if you guys are interested in Geek Fuel, I have a link to my referral link down below. It's, I'm not sponsored by Geek Fuel. It's just a, the normal referral link that everybody gets. Um, but you can check that out. If you're on VidMe, upvote this. Give me a follow and share it around. If you're on YouTube, like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends. And I will see you on the next video.